Hello guys and welcome to Walking Project, it's Tony here, your favorite YouTuber. Today I'm going to do a quick unboxing and review of the brand new, just released in the UK, Nokia 8210 4G. Another failed attempt of Nokia to recreate one of those, you know, iconic classics phones, like the original 8210 released back in 1999 guys 23 years ago of the time of recording this video can you imagine and by the uh, number of phones that i have you already know that i'm a collector and uh, i've got a few nokia phones let's just say that so although not all of those are in working condition you know i like the fascias i like the different colors and uh the first the first thing that they've messed up over here on this one is of course the color options check this out guys what kind of color is that very very light you know green something like that the other option is you know kind of a pale red or let's say wine color and the other option is that blue so that's the first fail the second fail is the price tag 65 pounds over here in the uk at least they have free delivery uh, anywhere in the uk which is a nice bonus they delivered it within a day pretty much that is it and what does it say over here let's plant uh to get a visit nokia phones to redeem your tree planting gift now i really don't want to plant trees to be honest with you and don't be fooled that buying this phone somehow you save the planet now another red flag is check this out made in vietnam now i know that nokia's haven't been made in finland for i don't know how many uh years now and the hmd globe is not exactly nokia but some of their old employees and stuff like that but you know due to my previous experience with uh, other recent nokia phones let's just say that i'm a little bit skeptical on this one over here as well so they decided to highlight some of the features 2.8 inch display 240 by 320 a tft display up to six hours of talk time and 27 days of standby oh my god and you might think oh my god 27 days well the battery is just 1650 milliamp hours so forget about 27 days more like 10 days i would say in standby if you don't use it 4g connectivity well we've been on 5g for the last few years now so 4g connectivity is not really so good news to be honest with you and fm radio wireless and wired which well okay fine what they don't tell you is the absolutely miserable memory on this phone guys they haven't written it down but i've got my other phone in my <laughs> in my other hand so i'm just gonna tell you quickly they've got a massive 128 megabytes can you imagine megabytes 128 megabytes guys there's just just a few songs you know you definitely need a macro sd card fortunately you've got a slot over here so that's not big of a deal 48 megabytes again a from considering they've got a unisoc or <laughs> let's say uni soc uh, one gigahertz processor this is not a smartphone by the way uh, it should be sufficient but yeah spec wise 65 quid i mean you can get a well a cheap android for that price but let's say you want to get some nostalgia uh, you know in your veins so let's see let's see what do we have right man i mean i haven't been that excited of unboxing a phone for quite a while now and uh, nokia keeps surprising me with those phones uh, but yeah let's see what do we have oh my god i mean oh no oh no <laughs> i've made a video nokia 3310 versus a chinese copy of it you can watch the video over there and that looks like that phone i really don't know what happened with that phone but anyways now you've got a micro usb charger guys micro usb in 2022 uh, can you imagine it's not usb c and you've got the battery over here and a quick start guide i'm gonna check the box on the side i mean there's not much you can learn from the quick start guide i can imagine and the battery let me have a look of what do we have over here guys okay it's a big black battery 1450 oh my god just marina was wrong so even less 1450 uh is the battery capacity but anyway charger aside over here and oh my god i mean they really have done it guys it really looks like a chinese knockoff of the original oh my god i mean oh no 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 the buttons check this out guys these are the buttons over here and they feel very very is that scratched oh my god this button is scratched already 
Guys, I'm not even joking. Check this out. The one button over here is scratched already. This is a scratch on the button. Can you imagine? By the way, I'm doing a durability test tomorrow on this phone, so that's why I'm not bothered. Otherwise, this is going back to Nokia. But can you imagine? This is a proper deep scratch over here out of the box, guys. Can you imagine that? These buttons feel absolutely shallow and almost provide no feedback. And over here is the directional button. It looks very, very uncomfortable. But to be honest with you, I'm going to give them props for that. It's kind of comfortable. And those edges over here, guys, those, those are some sharp edges. Check this out. Those are some really sharp edges. And when you hold the phone like that, you can kind of feel the edge over here. They really didn't have to make it, you know, that edgy. But it's oh my god i mean check this out guys the nokia logo over here okay that's fine we've got a vga camera by the way and we've got our speaker over here flashlight 3.5 millimeter jack of course and the charging port but man it feels absolutely empty this phone without the battery let me tell you that and uh oh no 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 no, no. at least you know the glass is plastic but it's like the nokia 3310 are thick uh, you know plastic if you want to check this video out I made a durability test but man I mean I've always thought that these feature phones they can definitely put a fingerprint reader over here guys so you can unlock the phone like that but no they didn't they had to keep it uh, cheap 65 quid okay guys something mind blowing I discovered with playing around with the phone off camera for a few minutes now uh, to open up the back cover, you need a fingernail, at least like mine, to be able to, you know, put it inside over here and pry it off like that. But because the build quality is so terrible, on this edge over here, guys, it is very sharp. I'm not sure if you can tell on the camera, but check this out. I can literally not use my fingernail over here and just use my thumb to open up the back cover like that. I mean... What is that? And inside the phone, let's have a look at what we have. At least over here in the UK, for the time being, we haven't been discriminated against, you know, the rest of the world. So we finally got the two SIM version out of out of the box. And uh, there's, it says something in Finland over here, HMT Global. Fair enough, we've got some metal bits over here, but man, I mean, you've got the micro SD uh, slot over here and the speaker grill have a mesh. There is no uh, IP certification on this phone, but they're quite durable. You shouldn't be worried about that. But man, let me let me power this baby on. And to be honest with you, I'm really not a fan of Kai OS, but if I have to choose between Kai OS and a feature phone, I would definitely choose, uh, you know, Kai OS. But uh, yeah, let me see what's going on over here. Don't tell me. Don't tell me this battery is not charged. Please don't tell me that. Oh, finally. Finally, we get it. But man, I mean, come on. Have a look at that, guys. Oh, the iconic Nokia sound. I mean, come on. What is that? What is that? I mean, look at that. There's no buttons for them. There's no volume buttons. It's it's it, it definitely does his character. The, the old one, check this out. You've got the, the red over here and you've got the black at the back. Over here, we've got nothing. And the, on the 8250, they've upgraded the back to one of those. Check this out, guys. And over here, you've got nothing, just plain plastic, which, by the way, you just scratch it like that with your fingernail. And you can definitely check this out. You can definitely see the marks that I did. I'm not sure if it shows on the camera just over here, but yeah, with my fingernail. But anyways, let's set up this baby and let's see what's going. Oh, okay. I sometimes somehow skip the setup. Uh, English? Do you want to set up time and date? No. Small font, large font. Oh, I want the large font. Okay, next part. Saving warranty, preparing for phone for use. That's it. That's the setup process, guys. I mean, oh no, 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 no. At least, oh my god, I was about to say, at least it it looks like that. Well, it doesn't. I have to figure out how do I lock this one. Is it like that? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So the, the, the unlock process, as you can see, you unlock it like that with the menu button with the star. But when you want to lock it, you have to hold it down over here. One, two. It's a good two and a half to three seconds to lock this phone, guys. And yeah, I mean, the, the display, as you can see, it's a TFT display, but it's a little bit uninspiring. So yeah, what else do we have, actually? 
I'm going to look for some applications, some interesting applications to see uh, what is going on. Is there any reason for you to go uh, for this phone? But uh, no, they haven't changed for years, guys. They're using the same software on the 3310, which was released, I don't know how many years ago. Gallery, you know, contacts, internet messaging, camera. Oh my God, camera, just a moment. All right. You can see the wobble effect on the camera. It's <laughs> check this out, guys. I mean, don't expect too much from that camera, but yeah, what else? Messaging, internet, Facebook, oh, Facebook. Snake, okay, I'm gonna have to test the snake. Radio, settings, videos, music, English with Oxford. Oh my God, there's a dictionary. Quiz, videos, dictionary, oh, fair enough, fair enough. Tetris, okay, what is that? A racing attack, oh my God, I have to check this one out. Blackjack, okay, I'm not gonna do that. Calculate alarm clock, extras, voice recorder, more games. Okay, more games. What do you have? Arrow Master, do the jump, cross your road, air strike. Okay, you've got some games. Fair enough. Voice recorder, extras. What kind of extras do you have? Countdown, stopwatch, torch, converter. Okay, the basic stuff. Counters, calendar, torch, files, torch. Let's see how powerful the torch is. Uh, it's not very powerful to be honest with you but anyways guys uh let me see the snake because why not oh my god i mean it's it's come on guys what is that let me see if i have the proper snake over here so i can show you on the real phone but man i mean come on what is that games snake one player that's it oh my god i've died okay let me let me show you the snake over here, one player. That is the prop. Where is the, where is the control? Come on, it's five. All right, so this is the proper snake over here, guys. This is the proper snake. Come on, let's do that. There we go. Oh, eight. Okay, fair enough. I used to be very good on that snake back in the day, but man, I mean, come on, have a look. What is that? Tell me, what is that? Is, it, is that a tram? Is that, what is that? Is that a cockroach or, <laughs> I really had no idea, a hot dog or something like that. It's, yeah, it's it's really bad, guys. Um, So yeah, let me let me try the racing game. I like racing games. So let's see, buy or play free trials. Uh, Nope, not gonna do that. Uh, what else? Blackjack, play free trials, really? I have to pay, can you imagine nowadays paying for those games, guys? You have to be absolutely out of your mind. Do the jump, play. Come on, these are all demo versions. Oh my God, the snake is the only game you have. And let's see the radio, let's see the radio. Okay, insert headset to get better performance. Ah, come on, you said it's wireless. Wireless should work without the wire, guys. So let me see, let me see what we have. All right. Let's turn it off until I get demonetized. Okay, oh, not the phone. Oh my God, I turned the phone somehow. Yeah, ah, uh, guys, I mean, I really feel sorry for myself for spending 65 quid on this phone, to be honest with you. I mean, it's big, it's big. Let me tell you that. I mean, it's not, it's not modern smartphone big, as you can see from the photo over here. But I mean, come on, guys, it's for a feature phone, it is quite big. I'm just gonna say that. And for a normal phone, like this one, uh, no, 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 no. Oh, by the way, let me get this out of the way. Yeah, so guys, I mean, Nokia, Nokia, just, just don't support them. You know, they, I don't like what they're doing. Check where they've put the microphone. Just check this one. The microphone is over here, guys. That's so easy to get some dirt on. Come on, the microphone belongs over here, nice and gently, like on the older one. And the only older one have two ports, you know, one for the charging and one for the, I have no idea, for, <laughs> for hands-free, I can imagine. And check this out, guys. Let's have a look at the, the back. By the way, have a look at this one. How nice it is. At the back of the old one, you've got the battery over here, easily replaceable, easily available on eBay. Check this out. You have this SIM holder over here, Nokia 8210, made in Finland. I mean, what is that? Why? Why do I have to do that? So yeah, um, my conclusion from this review slash unboxing, don't buy it. 
Uh, I can imagine it's durable. It looks kind of durable, but I'm going to find out how exactly durable it is in my next video. Guys, I can see the sun is creeping up over here, messing up the brightness of my video. But yeah, what can I do? So yeah, um, my advice, don't buy the Nokia 8210. It doesn't look like 8210 at all. It looks like 6310, 6210, something like that. To be honest with you, I mean, it has it has absolutely nothing to do with the 8210, even the buttons. Yeah, there's a slight resemblance of the buttons, but nah, nah, that's it's nah for me. <laughs> yeah, um, and in the meantime, check my older Nokia videos. But yeah, this one, don't buy it, guys. Sorry. And of course, subscribe to Walking Project. I'm going to see you in the next video. Adios. Oh, by the way, for staying that long into the video, just a quick heads up over here. Yeah, I've got some over here. I've got some over here. But, you know, I had to take them all out because these were at the bottom. But, yeah, next videos will be interesting. So, yeah, see you later, guys.